Hi Scorpio, how are you guys? Just know that I send you all much love and light and I just want to say thank you so much for being here with me. My name is Lynn and this is Passion of Heart Tarot. If it's your first time to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I love you guys. I hope that you're doing well. I'm doing okay, you know, I'm just like over this whole thing, everything that's going on. I'm ready to get back out there. I really want to go shopping. So anyways, you guys, so this is going to be another love reading for you from me. And if you haven't checked out the one that I posted about a week ago, please feel free to do that. And you guys, please subscribe if you haven't already. I can't believe this channel is almost at 100,000 subscribers. And you guys are like one of my biggest supporters. So I definitely have you Scorpios to thank for that, okay? So I'm just going to jump right in. But before I do, I just want to take a moment to bless your reading and light the white light the Holy Spirit. All right, Scorpio, let's ask Spirit to show us what does the future hold? What is coming in for May? So I see some Leo energy that's coming through. There's just someone who is really going to try to prove themselves to you. Could even be the way that you are looking at someone and a connection with someone. Because we have this energy of seeing things in a whole new light. Could even be the way that you look at yourself, Scorpio. The way that you look at this person. And it's because... Someone has this change point of view and a lot of growth and maturity. It's going to lead to something very successful. And, and just even when I look further and further, there's a lot of love and a very beautiful connection that's here. And it's genuine. It's not lust. This is, I mean, this is like a true love that's here. Um, And I have to let you know that for some of you, it's, someone's energy that's re-entering back into your life. I know that you might not want to hear about the past, but to see this tower card come in reverse like that, that's spirit letting us know that for some of you, it is a person from the past that things got really messed up between the two of you guys. I know that you might even still feel this way, like the relationship is over and there's no way of getting it back. Like this person is lost they're gone but when we see this kind of energy come in reverse especially with this whole new outlook and point of view it's a second chance and it's a very blessed second chance i just see where there's someone who has done a lot of thinking a lot of reflection could be what you're doing about the connection with this person scorpio or it's just like for, for those of you who aren't dating anyone right now and you don't have a special person on your mind, I mean, because this is very special. This is like a divine connection with a lot of blessings, love, light, very, very positive energy that's here. So it's like you, with this whole new outlook, you might be drawing this person in and this energy here is like rebuilding something within yourself that you thought was broken that you thought you could never get back because it's like when this kind of love enters into your life it might make you see things from a whole different perspective so i will tell you that gemini's energy is here as well as pisces and leo so you guys might have that in your chart or you could be dealing with a person that does have it in their chart i see a lot of empowerment here and and i'm telling you that for some of you, it's someone who wants to prove themselves to you. Because to see these pages come in reverse, it's about someone who wants to show a different side. Because maybe now, you know, with all of this thought that's here, they might have they might be looking back at how immature they've been. They might be looking back at just how little they've given to the connection. Um and feeling kind of embarrassed by it because no one really who's mature 
and who's grown wants to be looked at in these energies as someone who's just like playing games and like giving so little. I, I know that they don't want to be looked at in this light anymore. That's why this energy is coming in reverse. So what I can see for many of you is it is someone who is coming back that wants to prove themselves to you. And I see where um, things have changed. I mean, they truly have changed. This is a person who wants to come back and try to rebuild what they feel they messed up. And the mindset that they're approaching you with, Scorpio, is like, I want to make it work this time. I want to make it right. I want to reconnect with someone. Because lovers in reverse is like letting a very, very special connection get away. And there's a lot of regret associated with it because it's like knowing that, knowing, but not always acting, you know, knowing deep down that there's a true link that keeps you two together. I mean, this is what someone is thinking about now um, because they really have everything that you need in a person. This is how someone is feeling, Scorpio. So how they're feeling about you, right? Um, and like squandering the whole thing because underneath all the game playing and immaturity is what it is. There's something very genuine that's here, a true love. It's, a, it's very blessed and it's something that they don't want to take for granted anymore. That's why all of this major arcana is here showing up because there's a lot of enlightenment and someone is realizing that you did get away from them realizing how much they love you and how um even if they try to pretend like it um even if they were immature and didn't show it i know that you you felt it the whole time so there's definitely been a push and pull with this person of trying to like pull emotion out of them pull depth out of them when it always was like shallow. I I know that they were immature, but I don't see a maliciousness here in these pages energy. It's just kind of like not uh, being a match at the time, although feeling deep down that it should have been that whole time. So you know what? There's a huge realization. I know that someone, they are coming back. They are coming back. And if you let them back, you'll see that they've changed. You'll see a different side to them because you can have something successful. So it is important for you guys to know that, you know, in this person's energy, I know that things got messed up, but I think a lot of it just had to do with the way this person was like playing games. It's like emotional games, games with the heart. It, it wasn't like things that were cruel. That's not what I can see here. I just see someone who held back a lot, held back their emotions, held back their effort. And that in itself can be very hurtful, especially when you know that this is the kind of connection that you feel. So feel it's messed up because deep down someone knows that this person loves them back. They, they know that it's supposed to go somewhere. So when it feels like it's unrequited like this, that in itself can be very devastating emotionally. So there's been a lot of thinking about the way that they treated you, the way that they should have treated you, the mistakes that they made and how stupid they acted at times. Because it's like very immature. So I see the energy of like um, someone's mind is opening up now. So it could even be how you're viewing them. But I mean, I just see so much energy of, of rebuilding something that was once, I mean, even to this day, you still might feel like there's no chance that you're, you're not gonna give them another chance. Or you might even still have this perception of them, like they're too immature. They're just playing games. All they want is something shallow. They don't want anything that's, you know, deep. They don't want a commitment. You might still think this way about them. 
So this might really surprise you, the fact that I can see that there's a true chance to go down the path with them again, where you once thought it was done. Or, and to be fair, this could be something that you want to prove to someone, Scorpio. This could be your energy and feeling like regret for the mistakes that you made for not embracing the connection, for holding back so much, for making this person feel like it's unrequited when it really wasn't, when you might realize you just had a lot of growing that you needed to do. But that's the energy that is here. And for those of you that don't have like a person on your mind when it comes to this reading, for those of you that are single, um, it's like, when you set this new standard for yourself, because this is like not accepting the games and the lack of emotion and the lack of effort, it's like not accepting it. So there's a lot of inner strength here, like getting a new standard for yourself, rebuilding something in yourself that you thought you needed another person to give to you. You're looking at yourself um in a different place with a lot of inner strength so it's like rebuilding something within yourself and when you do you align to receive something that's up to par for what you for the standard standards that you have set so it's a very beautiful reading because i know some of you um have a person that you're thinking about on your mind that treated you this way and it might be very surprising to see that i mean the universe is giving another chance if you want to hear this person out i know that you might be skeptical when it comes to them because i see the way that they were just like acting so immature i really don't know what else to call this energy because a page is like it's very immature when compared to someone who's ready who's ready for a commitment who's ready for the intensity of these emotions who's ready for a bond like that something that can lead to long-term marriage love a family all of that they just seem very immature um, in comparison to that person but they're all they realize that now they look at themselves differently they look at the connection differently they look at love differently and I mean, this tower is like a second chance, a gift of a second chance. So I know that a lot of praying had to go into this, no matter how this person does it, whether it's just like wishful thinking, talking to themselves, um, praying to whoever they pray to, because this is like the universe and the divine timing, like shifting for something that, I mean, was done over and done with. And this is like a second chance. That's very special that I I just say, I emphasize that because it's not to be taken lightly because not everyone gets chances like this. Because I know that you still may be in this energy of like, no, I'm done with that person. I cut them out. I, I'm looking past that. They were never like mature enough. They never gave me enough. They were very shallow in the connection with me. But that's what I can see. I mean, I can see it. I want to look into this tower. Let, let me see why this is here. So it's funny because this strength card is flying out as I'm shuffling. So it's here. So you guys might even be dealing with um, a Leo or have a lot of Leo in your chart. I wonder if pride is a factor you don't want that to get in the way, especially for those of you have that have always kind of wished that this person would come back around with a realization, like with an understanding. Because I, I know that it cuts both ways. Because you know that this is something that was always very special, even if they couldn't handle the intensity of it the way that you could. So I know that some of you on the other end 
are also kind of wishing that this person can see things differently, can see what the two of you could make together. So like the wishing goes both ways. Um, so what I want to say about seeing this strength card come out so many times like that is, is just to be important of your pride and, and really think about, you know, have you been wishing for it? And if they do come back around, will you turn them away? Because I mean, what I can see, if you're wondering how you feel about this person, Scorpio, I see like you, you wanted this, you know, you, you might've wanted this for so long because this is something like you've never felt for anyone. So when, when they're in this energy of like not matching you and feeling like, you know, your feelings are so much stronger than theirs, I know that that hurt you, that devastated you. So it is also important for you to look at things differently. And also like if you're being granted another chance with this person, if they wanna try and prove themselves to you and you know that it's something that you've thought about and kind of wished for for a long time for this person to like see the light, to see the truth and what the two of you could make together, you'll definitely um, be happier if you approach it from a place of like confidence and not letting, you know, your ego or your pride get in the way because you're being blessed with another opportunity. And remember, I don't see any darkness here. You know, there's immaturity, but it's not like it's um like a maliciousness that this person, you know, you guys weren't malicious towards one another. It's just like somebody wanted more and they couldn't get it from this person and it hurt them very deeply because they know how significant the connection could be so if you're thinking that this is someone like that hurt you very deeply from the past or like had like this dark energy around them that's not who this is that's that's not what i see here i see someone who had a lot of growing that they needed to do and now that they've done it they've been praying for another chance to come back and I don't see them letting their pride get in the way. It's actually they feel like they feel like they're building themselves up to get a lot of courage to be able to find a way to reach out to you again, to talk to you, to to let you know how they feel because they love you. That's the thing about this energy. Um, they love you. They're in love with you. I mean, they've never had a connection like this with anyone. They feel like you're the one that got away. This is very, very significant energy. And now that they see it, they they feel like you guys could have something successful. So really, a lot of the power is in your hands, Scorpio, whether or not you want to listen to this person and hear them out. But I know that for a lot of you, it's something that you've... Because... Okay, so some of you might be asking, like, well, why would they wait? I mean, this is this is not something that's fake. Although you have bumps in the road and you reroute and go in different directions, ultimately it's designed that way because you have growth, they have growth, and you come back together. This, these are like puzzle pieces. They're destined to fit together. So even though you go off course, it's like it was always meant to come back to this and it's very special. So that's why many of you have held on to this person um, in your heart. You haven't really let them go. You may like not talk to them now. You may try to not think about them, but ultimately you get reminders of them all the time. Like you might see someone who looks like them, like, wow, they look like so-and-so. That's crazy. You might see their birth date. You might see their initials. So it's like there's still a link. Although there's a disconnection, it's not severed. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's still there. So I know that it's a very powerful connection that many of you are still holding on to. That's why this energy like goes both ways. So what I'm telling you is that what I can see is you're being blessed with another chance because they, they want to tell you these things. They want to tell you that they love you. 
They want to tell you uh, um, how immature and how stupid they were because they don't want to be looked at this way. They want to try to fix what they know they destroyed. And they feel like they'll be able to. They're very optimistic. It's like they're pumping themselves up to try to do it. So that's what I can see here. That, that truly is what I can see. And it makes me wonder, like, will you guys, what will you do on your end to receive the energy? Like, if you know you block this person, I mean, if that's your only means of communication, the energy's there. So don't create any other walls around yourself to prevent you from receiving it. Do you know what I mean? Because, like, okay, so the message is out here, like, they want to talk to you. They want to reach out to you. They see things very differently. And if you still have them blocked, how can they do it? So you kind of got to give a little. And I think that you'll find when you do, that because this is something that can't be contained. This is very enthusiastic. It's There's so much excitement in this energy to want to fix it, to want to come back, because there's a lot of emotion there's a lot of depth in this connection, even if at times they didn't always show you that because I see that energy that's there. So if you give a little, if you open that door a crack, they will definitely push it open and come through because I mean, that's, that's the energy that's here. There's a true eagerness to fix things and to make it right. All right, Scorpio. So that's what I can see for you guys. I'm, I'm very happy because I know that underneath everything, everything that's happened with you and this person, I know that the two of you truly do love each other. And I know that when you are together, it feels like there's no one else in the whole wide world. It's very romantic. It's very euphoric, but it's, it's, real this is real love this is true and i know that the both of you are really longing to reconnect with one another and be able to create new memories and just be open so if you let it in i'm telling you there's a lot of success that's here it's not something that's going to fail and it's not something that they're going to take for granted again because they're out of that stage in their life and they don't want you to ever look at them that way so it might take strength on both ends because i know that um they've hurt you i know that so i understand why you have like a cautiousness that's here so it just that's why i'm saying like if you give a little they'll if you open the door a crack they'll push through it that's why this energy is here like for each of you to be confident and have the strength all right, Scorpio, so just know how much I love you guys. And if you are new to my channel and haven't already subscribed, please do. Thank you for everything. I send you all much love and light. Take care, Scorpio. Be safe. And I will talk to you guys in about a week or so.